No, I don't know. It's in there somewhere. It's still, yeah. It's so still. tell us about your favorite Christmas, Grandma. Pardon? What is your favorite Christmas memory? Oh, I don't know. Now I made you think. <laughs> that I can. <clears throat> I mean, we always have to go ahead. We always went to my grandmother's for Christmas every every year. Which grandma is that? My grandma Palmer. That's the only one I have. Grandma Palmer. My grandma. My other grandma died when my mother was eleven years old. Okay. And so there was no grandma and grandpa on that side. Okay. And my grandpa died when, well, back in twenty two. When did Grandma die? I don't know. Uh, Larry, Larry was just little when she died. The girls were both. Jolene was three or four when she passed away. Mm -hmm. So you go to Grandma Palmer's for Christmas? What'd you, what would you do? Well, she used to send us out on the night before on Christmas Eve. She'd send us out. Mm -hmm. They had a porch on the front of the house. So she'd send us out, and we'd have to sing, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Please put a penny in the old man's hat. Then she'd give us a penny. <laughs> but uh, she always had a little nickel in the Christmas pudding, or, you know, in, we always, or a dime. Mm -hmm. Usually a little, you used to have the little nickels, and she always had a, dot, a nickel in the, in the Christmas pudding. <laughs> but uh, was it just you and your you and your brother and sisters that went, or no? We all we all all the went. cousins. I can't remember. Well, I don't know. Earl was gone. I can't remember when the other kids were home. Well, Ed, I'd have been 10 and Edna was 16, so they were, you know, they were pretty well married and gone from what I can remember. So it was mainly just Grant and I. He hated to have to go every, every Christmas. Because <laughs> uh, he wanted to stay home. And, uh, yeah. and where was home at that time? So where, where did Grandma Palmer live and where did you guys live? Okay, from... Well, we lived two blocks west from where the trading company is in McGrath. Okay. We were two blocks straight west and in the middle of the block right there. And uh, so we lived two blocks. So it was just a couple of blocks. That's where Grant and I were born. Okay. Was in there. And then we moved the, back in the 50s when Barton was little. We moved the house up a block so that they could uh, put in the water in the sewer because we didn't have, we had to pack all our water mm -hmm. for a block. Mm -hmm. And so they moved it up there and then we always had water in the basement anyway that because there was no sewer, no nothing. Right. And uh, so if we had the years we had a lot of moisture around what well, we had water in the basement we didn't have a full we didn't have a full basement which is big it's enough a crawl space. Mm -hmm. that they never did did finish it but anyway when when us kids were little we always went to grandma's that uh, i mean i was only four when when Earl was born, so Phyllis and Phyllis was married back in 1930. Mm -hmm. And then Flora went back to Quebec in 1940s. It had been, no, in 37. Mother went to England in 37. And uh, then Phyllis and Charlie went back that fall or Charlie went back, he, mm -hmm. 
when, well, he didn't have a job because it was, so he hopped to Frank and went back to see his parents and probably hadn't seen him since he was a teenager. Wow. Because he would have come out, I don't know, in the early, in the early 20s anyway. He'd have only been 16, say. He'd have only been 17, 18 years old, I think. It was just the two boys, him and Ivan, and they both came, both came out much. west. He worked out at McIntyre's Ranch. Mm -hmm. and then Phyllis met him when she was only, she was 18 and they were married. And then they moved to Mountain, moved, well, they lived in McGrath for a while. I forgot they had worked out of Wits for a while. He worked on the farm. Then they went to Mountain View, hmm. and they lived up. They lived up in Mountain View until she went back to Quebec, and then Charlie went back and he got a job, so they went back to Quebec. And then that fall, Flora went to Quebec, and William wanted to go in the Air Force, and he wasn't old enough, so they sent him out there for a year. <laughs> then he came back and joined the Air Force. And he was home for, that was his last Christmas at home. Mm -hmm. That was his last Christmas, because he was gone the next right. Christmas. It's a good thing he came home. Well, I guess, uh, well, Chris, I guess he was still home that Christmas, but the next Christmas he was gone, because he, mm -hmm. he was killed in October, so it would have been the next year. That's the day of my brother Ernest's birthday, and Dave, Flora, and Merle were married on the 15th of October. And that was the day he was killed. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I don't remember what much what we did before that. I know Phil said she remembers she got an Eaton, Eaton Beauty doll one year for Christmas. And that was something, because back in the 30s, she's mm -hmm. lucky she ever got one, you know, something like that. Mm -hmm. And she said she remembered Ernest having a rocking horse. Well, <laughs> he didn't have one that I knew of. <laughs> <laughs> what was your favorite Christmas toy that you got? Pardon? Do you remember your favorite Christmas toy when you were growing up? Well, no. <clears throat> I don't know for sure we, otherwise we, oh, we just decorating the Christmas tree and waiting for Santa Claus. And mm -hmm. My dad wasn't hardly ever home Christmas Eve because they Working. run a restaurant, <laughs> so they were never, then mother got so that she wasn't home and she got so that she was down there a lot of time too. So Flora's pretty well stayed home with us. I remember some of the decorating the Christmas tree. And so what kind of decorations would you would you guys do? We had we always had a good Christmas tree. I remember Flora had a little boat. It was about like this that we put on every year, and all the hmm. we used to hang up. Ernest, Ernest used to have some big wool socks, that's what we always hung out with. It was on the, on the back of the chair. Phyllis said she'd remember. I thought it was William that had the tractor, but maybe they both had one. Said she can remember Grant taking it and catting it and saying, Oh, you beautiful thing. <laughs> But they were tractors that were metal then. They weren't mm -hmm. stupid Lasted things that lasted for five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That they were worth something. I don't know. He, he he had the tractor. I can remember him. You know, we used to, because he'd go out in front on the front of the porch there and play in the dirt. And we had a big porch across the front of our house. And in the summertime, the boys slept out there. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, I don't remember anything, you know, special. But I remember we just 
Did you just have any traditions that you did certain things or did you open presents Christmas Eve or just Christmas morning? Well, we always opened our, always got our stockings and then, mm -hmm. then we'd open them. I can't remember what much about opening the, the presents, but the, just being together. Our stockings were the were the main thing then. I remember I wanted a doll so bad. I was getting well. I'd have been ten years old then, but uh, they didn't have money to buy one with. So mm -hmm. Ernest bought me one that year. Aww. <laughs> mm -hmm. Then my, when mother came back from England, she brought me one back that it was a, it was breakable. She carried the suitcase all the way back with her on the boat. Oh, wow. So it wouldn't get broken. Wow. That, but the other one was a soft body with the, <clears throat> on there. I was sure excited to have it anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that was when you were about 10 years old? Yeah, that was the last one, other than the one that Aunt Lucy mm -hmm. brought me. I've still got a dress that she crocheted and, wow. and a sweater, bonnet, and the booties up in the drawer that, that they gave me. It didn't have any clothes on it, so she... <coughs> she made some for it? <coughs> crocheted a cap and, and dress and, and panties for it. That's neat. What's your favorite Christmas song? Oh gosh, I don't know. <laughs> she is. <laughs> All the old ones, I don't like the new ones they have anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know, Silent Night's always a mm -hmm. bad thing. Did you go over, ever go caroling? I don't remember, but not when we were younger anyway. Mm -hmm. Just outside on the porch. Mm -hmm. I mean, we cracked a lot of nuts. And, you know, we used to spend yeah. the afternoon cracking nuts. Yeah. And, Now people can't be bothered taking time to crack a nut. They <laughs> enjoy them. cracking the nuts. Already we done. always we always had dinner at noon at twelve o'clock, Sunday or any other day. Mm -hmm. We always had dinner was always at noon. Mm -hmm. Just one but day. anyway, it's. Uh, I don't remember doing too much else on, you know, on the day we get through and go home, I guess. I don't.